everyone. I'm here with Brian Sanchez, who is at our studio in Carson City at Fitness for 10. Thanks for being here, Brian. Steve, always a great time spending my time with you and your time. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. I should be a politician. Don't get me started, man. Anyways. <laughs> don't get okay. me started. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to talk about nonsense. No, not really. We're going to talk about uh, how to work out like when you're traveling. So when you don't have equipment or maybe you bring some bands or whatever, just to kind of maintain while you're traveling. So there's lots of body exercises you can do um, that can at least get your body moving, especially if you're older. These are things that you can do just in your house that are going to make a big difference if you're older. If you're older, um, you might not need any weight for anything. But right. There's things that you can do. So what are your first thoughts on uh, working out without equipment? Maybe you're traveling. Hey, you know, and, and that's a good point about the travel side, but let's expand that too. It just popped into my head. If you can think about working out without equipment, you can never say, I didn't have time to work out. Um, so let's, let's take a look. The way I would break it down, Steve, and this, I do this a lot with, with clients. Clients will get a hold of me and, and they'll, they'll say, hey, can you help me with a workout real quick? You know, I'm traveling. Uh, this is my setup. And so I, I quickly email them or text them a quick workout. So I'm very used to doing this. Um, and I do this for myself as well. But I want, and the reason I'm saying this is I want you to see how easy this actually is. You don't need a facility. And like Steve says, I mean, if you're somebody who's older and, and you're at home, you don't need equipment to work out. You have pretty much everything you need right there. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of times when you're doing training things, especially if you're unsteady on your feet, really you just need a chair and we can work you out. But here's a quick idea. So if it's me, and, and I do have some notes, so I'm going to look down at my notes too to make sure I, I stay on track here and don't pontificate too much. Um, when when I think about a workout without e, you know equipment, I always think in a total body style. Where can I get my best bang for my buck? How many muscles can I move together? And, and, and I set up in that format. And generally... I do it in a mini circuit format. In other words, I, I put a series of exercise together just to get my body going. And, and that's what I generally recommend to other people. So that by the time you go through the exercises, you don't have to stop. You can go right back to the top because you're hitting a different zone again and just keep moving through the workout three or four times through your circuit. With that said, easy way to do this. Get out a pencil and get out a piece of paper. You don't need a computer. Get a crayon. Uh, whatever you got laying around. And I want you to think of this. Think of legs. Just write it out before you do your workout. You know you have your quadriceps, your, your calves, your hamstrings. You can incorporate hips and glutes into that. Write out legs. Then write out chest. Then write out shoulders. Then write out arms, back, and core. If you do that, and you just take an exercise from those zones, you've got yourself a full body circuit. In other words, what I might do is if I, if I write those things out, I might say, okay, core exercise, crunches, real simple to do. You need no equipment for crunches, leg lifts, no equipment for leg lifts, uh, um, oblique crunches, no equipment necessary for oblique crunches. You just lay on the floor and you exercise and you work your abdominals. So I would go crunches, then maybe legs. How about a free squat? Nothing around me. I just squat up and down. Or if you want to be a little more energetic, um, jump squats where you spring into the air. It's this simple to put this together. You want to add to that? Maybe side lunges with, with reverse lunges, which is what I, and forward lunges, which is what I call a six way lunge. So you're moving in different planes of motion, but you're going all the way around your body with a lunging format. You get into your glutes, donkey kicks, hip flexors, uh, um, hip flex, wall hip flexors, things of this nature. So I'm, I'm setting it up so that I'm working through my body. I go to my back. Well, people might think, well, how do you work your back? 
without equipment. Well, there's lots of ways you can work your back without equipment. Uh, a perfect, for instance, is a prone pull down. What that means is a lot of people will call these um, sea turtles, actually, is, is I know a term that they use for this. And it's where you lay on your, your front uh, portion of your body, you lay on your belly, and you're, you're acting as if you're pulling down and you're clenching, doing a concentric hold for like count of three to count of five, bringing your back and your, and your lats and everything, you're tightening everything up and then you release. But you're on your belly, so you kind of arch back, so you're working your lower back at the same time. So this is another zone. Chest, any kind of push-up you can think of. Chest, if you, if you, if you don't have the strength for a chest push-up, go to the wall, wall pushes. Arms. Diamond push-ups. If you don't want to do them from the floor, go to the wall. Diamond wall pushes, which means you bring your hands closer together. Um, concentric bicep holds, where you just curl up into like as if you're holding something, and then you concentrically just hold on to everything and tighten everything up as hard as you can. Um, the, uh, the idea would be to hit these zones knowing that you're going to hit other muscle groups um, because it has to support your body and you do it in a format that you pick five, six exercises, you'll get a total body workout every time. You do not need equipment. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, I don't know the exercises like you did, Brian, you just spit a bunch of exercises at us, then pull your phone out. Just take five minutes and do your prep. Pull your phone out and go, leg exercises, no way. Look it up. It's going to give you a hundred different versions back exercise. No, wait, look it up. It'll give you shoulders, arms, uh, uh, you know, glutes, hamstrings, just research under those theories or under those zones. And you'll pull up a thousand different exercises, put your circuit out together, get your circuit rolling, take you 30 minutes to do a workout, go through it three, four times. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, there's so many things you can do. Uh, you can do sissy squats. I don't need any weight to do sissy squats. And if you're 80, 90, especially, that's all you want to do anyway, if you're just beginning. And, you know, I always tell people, if, if you're going to join a gym, and you said something at the beginning there, if you're going to join a gym, make sure it's convenient. It's got to be convenient. Right. You want to eliminate every excuse for not doing it. Well, if you're exercising while you're traveling in your hotel room, or if you're doing it in your bedroom or in your house, you have no excuses. You can do walking lunges. Hey, I'm going to walk down the hall. We'll do walking lunges. You can do hip hinges with one leg. That's plenty of resistance. You can do toe presses with one leg. And like you said, Brian, if you don't know how to do these things, if you don't know what a sissy squat is, talk to your phone. Tell your phone to show you what it is. And yep. It's, it's basic like that for everybody. And I think it's important, too, for those that if, if you don't, you know, if you are somebody that's at home and you can't get to a gym, we're not even talking about travel. Something as simple as getting your chair, a folding chair or a kitchen table chair, put it in the middle of the room sit down on it and practice stand up sit downs and repeat it that is exercise you don't need equipment that's what we're talking about it is right in front of you you just got to figure out a way and if you don't know how you know what put it in our comments and we will get back to you we will show you how to do it we can write you these workouts just to give you ideas yeah i mean we can do some shorts on how to do a one legged squat um, you know, hip hinges, which is going to work your hamstrings and your glutes. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it. And, and you know what? Let's say you're going to cheat. You get a bag of bands. And I mean, okay, this takes up that much room, you know, and you can carry those. And there's things you can do. Like, uh, let's say you go to the grocery store. My wife and I will walk to the grocery store when we stay. We, there's a timeshare we like to stay at and um, you know, we've got some jugs of water. I said, okay, give me the jugs of water. I'm going to hold them. So I held them out and walked back. Oh, probably three quarters of a mile, maybe a mile. By the time I got back to the room, my shoulders were thrashed. 
because I was holding them, I was holding the two jugs of water out like this, you know, and then just kind of pulsing, blasted everything, you know, better workout than I get in the gym trying that, you know? So yeah, it's like a hanging fly almost. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like, oh boy, man, that was a good workout. So it can be done and you can look up stuff online and, um, uh, do it. You know, it just, it just, it takes discipline and you can't say, I don't have time. Cause it's, you can do this while you're doing something else. You can easily multitask. Hey, you got to walk down the hall. Like I said before, lunge down the hall. You got to walk down there anyway. You might as well lunge. And that's a great exactly. workout. Alternate leg. It is. So there really is no excuse except for laziness. Just join it, everybody. Dive in, get working out, find a way to make it happen. We know, and we're telling you that we know, there's no options. Let's live large. Let's find a way. Find the time, create it, make it important for yourself. All right, everybody. Uh, that's our little, our few tips on working out without equipment. Uh, Brian is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 again in Carson City. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Thanks, Steve. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.